Hi, I'm Tom Persky, and I'm going to talk today about the new Humanware Prodigy desktop unit. The Prodigy actually has three models. The desktop unit, one called the Prodigy Duo, which has a tablet as well as the desktop CCTV, and there is a tablet that comes by itself, a small 5-inch tablet. But the new desktop unit is uh, just out, and we're excited to show it to you. Uh, this particular model has a 24 inch screen. It also comes in a 20 inch screen. And as you can notice uh, down below, there's no XY table for this reading device. Um, it has a platform where you place your um, material and it has two buttons, basically a read button and a back button. There's also a power button over to the right here. And then in the middle, there's a what they call a touchpad, so that you can operate the machine just by the simple use of a tap or a swipe, different gestures uh, that allow you to use one finger, make it very, very easy. Um, on the screen right now, this, by the way, can go, go up and down and tilt to whatever level is easiest for you, very easy to move. Uh, there's a magnifier setting, which is you would do most of your reading on. There's also a gallery, which allows you to save documents inside the machine, up to 100 pages right now. And then there's also a settings menu, which there's many different settings of the size and the color and how you would like the text displayed on the screen when you're reading. There's also a wizard to help people who are first starting out to set up and, and learn some of those gestures and uh, to learn about the print size and the type of print they want to use. So if I go back to the magnifi magnifier, I'm just again using my finger, I would just tap the screen once and I get uh, a screen that says place your page. So if I place my page right there in the center, uh, the first thing it's going to do, it's going to take a picture of the entire page, which is really uh, great and then it's going to set it up. There's software in here that uh, makes it each letter of what we're going to be reading perfectly straight and perfectly they call diamond edge which is great because in the old days when we had CCTVs when you enlarged text the te edge of the text got blurrier and blurrier so now no matter what size the text comes in uh, you'll be able to uh, see it perfectly. So one thing I can do uh, right from this screen now is just push the read button and the text is displayed as you can see in a column view. We call a column view which means that the words are not cut off on the side and by the use of my finger I can just slowly go up the screen or if I tap the screen it will actually go up the screen by itself. If I want to make it slower I just move my finger a little bit to the right. If I want to make it faster, I may move it to the left. Or if I just tap it, it'll stop right where I need it to stop. Also on the side, there are two buttons that allow me to make it bigger, much, much bigger. And as you can see, again, it still does not chop off any words on the side of the screen. So um, this is a, a great way to read. I can sit back, I can tap the screen and allow it to read the entire page. It knows how to read columns, so it makes it very easy for reading. From this, I can also do a double tap. Model of care and vision rehabilitation. In the photograph below, all of the aspects of our model are represented. So we have now the ability to turn that speech on and off just by double tapping the screen. So there's maybe some who do not like the speech, so you just double tap it and the speech goes off, which is really uh, quite a unique feature. Now I want to show you an additional way you can read, which I think is more practical, uh, that when you go from the screen uh, where it displays the entire page, instead of hitting the read button where it would read from the top you can just tap the screen at that point and it goes into a kind of a different mode which allows me to go around the page I know there's so many situations where I don't want it to read from top to bottom I just want to pick out a certain section so 
uh, for instance, here's the second column. Now I've chosen where I wanted to read or skipped around. And then I can push the read button and it remembers exactly where I was. And there again, uh, it starts exactly where I put it before. If I double tap, again, the speech would come on. <clears throat> Daily hurdles like seeing a thermostat on the wall or making a phone call can be helped with these independent living aids or devices. So this is a very functional way to read, to be able to place your page and then go directly to the text in the uh, where you want it to begin to, to read out loud or to begin to display it for you. Many new technology devices have also... There's an additional way that you can also do the same thing from the original page, you'll see a box that, based on the magnification, will show you what the device will read for you. So by moving your finger, you can actually scan over to the area that you think you want to start in, if you're familiar with the document again, and that will allow you to read right from that point. There's some settings that you can do, what we call quick settings, by holding down the back button you can go right inside the quick settings and change things like uh, black on white. I can change it, let's say, to white on black or many different colors. I can also change the reading mode. So let's say I want to read it in a line instead of a column. I just simply tap on that and then I'm going to go back to my original document. I'll start at the beginning and push the read button. We hope you enjoy this valuable emporium of essential tools to enhance your quality of life. At the now Chicago we'll enlarge the text. Our tools for living store and the adaptive technologies that we recommend. The nice thing about it is you can enlarge or reduce the text size while it's reading, so no need to stop uh, unless you really want to. Pat will recommend are part of our comprehensive model of care and vision rehabilitation. I can again tap the screen, double tap the screen, and uh, it will turn the speech off. I can just simply move my finger, go back, and start over if I miss something. Um, again, I can make it even super large. For me, it's uh, interesting because my central blind spot is in the way for longer words. I can look uh, above the line that I want to be able to see and then begin, and now I can see the complete word because it's large enough for me to follow it. And over the years, I've learned to read this way very quickly. And so I can move the, model of care. Move the text or have it read out loud. <clears throat> Using the Prodigy desktop for other tasks beside reading gives you a mode called the live mode. So we would take our reading material away and then we would do a swipe on the left side of the screen which would allow us to then change it to the live mode. And the live mode is pretty great. You could put a bottle of pills or a can of soup. Here I have a small box. I can place it on the screen. And uh, it gives us a, a real nice, what I think is a very natural color to the device. And there I can um, see what kind of detail is on the box. I can even turn the box up on its side to read the barcode or the price tag. So. Uh, it really gives us a lot of uh, capabilities to be able to put things under there in everyday living. Also for writing, um, placing my paper under here, um, I can see my hand easily and see the pen and then begin to write what's uh, uh, on the screen there. I'll put my phone number. And uh, it's, it's really great for writing or doing other tasks. One of the things I did not mention also is when we're in the read mode, the Prodigy will have the capability of doing uh, other languages. At this time, I believe French is available and Spanish. Um, and so it also has a, a male voice or a female voice. And so that um, is going to be re really helpful for lots of folks who want to be able to read in other languages. I think one of the great things about this whole system is that it's upgradable. That is, uh, this has a Wi-Fi connection so that in your home you'll be able to connect to your Wi-Fi system and then every time a new upgrade comes uh, you'll have the latest and greatest, which is 
been a, a problem over the years as many people say well what if I purchase something like this and something really neat and cool comes out next year well what's really great about the Prodigy is that now we have finally a system that's upgradable and uh, being able to do it directly on the machine uh, directly with Wi-Fi um, this also would allow you to connect a mouse to this if you're not really the greatest on the touchpad, but a person could use a USB connection for a mouse and uh, it would set it up for you. It also has an earphone connection, so if you're in a classroom setting um, to do that. So Prodigy really gives you a lot of alternatives and we're really glad uh, about all these uh, choices now that we have. So again, this is the Humanware Prodigy desktop unit. The retail price is $19.95 for the 20-inch model and $21.99 for the 24-inch uh, model. So we are here uh, at Chicago Lighthouse to be able to do demonstrations if you'd like to come in here or our Glenview location. Um, give us a call at 1-800-919-3375 and that will put you in touch with the store. Have any of the staff at the store connect us to either myself or Luke or Eric and we can uh, show you the technology that would be best for your situation. Again, thank you very much.